I will be doing a double recipe, but I'm going to give you the single recipe. So first you wanna start off with one 10.5 ounce package of mini marshmallows, six cups of rice cereal, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, a half teaspoon of salt, I'm using sea salt, and a couple of tablespoons of colorful sprinkles. So what I'm going to do is in a large pot on a low heat, I am going to melt down a stick of butter. Again, I am doubling the recipe for all of the ingredients and measurements. Please look to the description box below this video. Again, I just want to mention that you need to work with a low heat because eventually once the butter melts, I'm going to add my mini marshmallows. If the pan is too hot, your marshmallows will scorch and burn and you don't want that. Okay, so my butter is now melted down. I'm going to add my salt. And if you are using salted butter, just keep the salt out. You don't wanna add any extra salt, but I like to use unsalted butter to control the amount of salt I like in my recipes. Now I'm just going to add my mini marshmallows. And ultimately, I am just going to slowly allow them to melt down and mix with the butter and the salt. Because I'm working with a stainless steel pot, I am going to constantly stir and coat my mini marshmallows in the melted butter below. You want to constantly stir. Now, if you're using a non-stick pot or pan, you might get away with just letting the marshmallows sit there and not stirring constantly. But since this is a stainless steel pan, I don't wanna walk away and just let it melt because then I run the risk of burning my marshmallows. Now that my marshmallows are melted down with the butter and the salt, I am going to turn off the heat. And at this point, I am just going to add my rice cereal, my colorful sprinkles, and then I am just going to combine all of the ingredients together and mix well. Okay, so now that everything is combined, at this point, you can take a nine by 13 baking dish, make sure you lightly oil it, and just compact all of your rice marshmallow mixture into it and allow it to set and cool. But I am going to be making a birthday cake for my son today. And because he has allergies to egg, I thought this was the perfect way to create a birthday cake that was egg free and he loves Rice Krispie treats. So what I have here is just a small corningware dish that's round. I did not even measure it, but I'm going to be making a two tier birthday cake. I guess I should say a mock birthday cake with Rice Krispie treats. So I have oiled the inside of this dish. I have added extra sprinkles to the bottom and now I am just going to fill it with all of the Rice Krispie mixture. I am going to repeat this exact same process with an eight by three inch cake pan, round cake pan, and I'm going to allow them to set and then I'll show you how I put them together.
Okay, so now that I have pressed down and compacted all of the Rice Krispie mixture into my cake pan, I am going to allow it to set for at least two hours in the fridge. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just turn out both of my cake pan and other round container onto my cake platter and just set them up and they're going to look exactly like a cake. I'd also like to mention that I did double the recipe and I did end up with extra rice cereal mixture. So I went ahead and put that just in a small square baking dish and I cut those into squares. So again, the single recipe fits perfectly in a nine by 13 inch baking dish and you can most definitely just cut them into squares after allowing it to set. But today I wanted to do something a little special for my little guy. I'm going to flip this out onto the bottom layer. I'm going to add a candle, a little bit of decoration, and it's ready to celebrate my little one's birthday. So it's a birthday tradition in our house. For the boys, we like to set up the table at night when they are asleep and then in the morning when they come downstairs they have their nice little birthday surprise so this is how we set it up it's very simple but we love it and they love it too I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.